My name is Anna Grimm, and I'm a computer vision engineer at the Allen Institute for Neural Dynamics. And my job is to um, run our neuron segmentation pipeline. So segmentation is a classical problem in computer vision that refers to detecting objects in an image. And in this case, our image contains neurons. And so our objective is to identify and trace each individual neuron in an image. Now, this is a very challenging problem due to the scale of our data. And just to give you an idea of how long this would take to do manually, I have a little teeny tiny region of the thalamus that's highlighted. And this region represents about 1% of 1% of the brain's total volume. And here you can see a, a single neuron that's highlighted in yellow and this neuron was manually traced and this tracing took about 40 hours and so trying to trace uh, neurons in the mouse brain manually is too time consuming and so instead we need to rely on algorithms that can automate the neuron segmentation process and Currently, our strategy for doing this is to use a deep learning framework. And in deep learning, the idea is that we have a model that's referred to as a neural network, and we can train this model to perform a task by showing it examples of the task that we wanted to perform. So in this case, we can train our neural network by sampling uh, small regions around the brain and manually tracing the neurons in each of these regions. Then we can feed these um, examples into a neural network, and then the neural network learns from these examples and then can automatically trace the neurons for us. Now, this is definitely much easier said than done. Um, one challenge in neuron segmentation is that we really want to correctly reconstruct the topology of these neurons. And in this context, Topology refers to how neurons are connected. And there's two types of connectivity mistakes that a neural network um, can commonly make. The first is a false merge. And this is highlighted in yellow. And this occurs when two distinct neurons are incorrectly merged together or identified as one neuron instead of two neurons. The other type of mistake is a false split. And a false split occurs when the network predicts that a neuron branch is, um, you know, is, is broken into two or more pieces. And so these, these types of mistakes can be very time consuming to fix and uh, they can also be difficult to detect. And so one project that we're working on at the Institute is to um, build robust neural networks that can perform neuron segmentation and avoid making these types of topological mistakes. So the quality of results that are generated by the neural network are very closely tied to the architecture and the loss function that's used to train the neural network. And these are two avenues of research that we have been actively exploring. Um, so the, the loss function is one area in particular that I've been working on, and uh, one, one thing we've been exploring is topolo using topological loss functions. And uh, the main idea behind a topological loss function is to highly penalize topological mistakes that the neural network may make. And we found that this can help reduce the number of mistakes that our network makes. So this project has been a team effort that has involved several different departments within neural dynamics, including molecular anatomy, discovery science, instrumentation, scientific computing, um, as well as um, our admin team and leadership has been by Adam Glazer, Jayram, and Carell. So here we have a picture of the entire neural dynamics team and we'd like to thank everyone who has uh, helped out with this project. We'd also like to thank the Allen Institute as well as Paul Allen for his vision and leadership.